Hello! Many of you requested this and so I shall deliver. Today I'm going to paint on all five of these limited edition wooden boxes by Schmincke. These contain the super granulation paint tubes and I am so nervous because if these are worth anything as they are, I am going to render them useless. Oh well, all for the sake of art. Let's get into it, I'm so excited. So I've been racking my brains for a while, wondering what on earth I can paint on these or how shall I decorate them. I was thinking, do I paint the entire box, all levels of it? But at the same time, I do quite like the wooden effect on it. So what I think I'm actually going to do is just a small painting on each one. I've ruled one out here. I'm just going to paint in this section here. I was going to paint the whole thing, but I really like the Schmincke logo there. So I'm going to leave that. <laughs> and then I thought maybe I could do a cutout for the logo, but I just think that will look a bit weird. So I think just a small section here is going to be the way to go for this. Now I do have watercolor ground which I could paint on here and then paint the watercolour paints onto here from the sets themselves but I was thinking that it's going to be really difficult to then coat the whole thing because if you put an acrylic glaze over it it's going to actually activate the paints again and I thought that maybe the watercolour ground is just going to be an annoying texture on here so I'm actually going to paint on here with acrylic paints because these are on the outside I do sometimes stack them and it will just be much easier to have an acrylic painting on here which I can then cover with a matte varnish and keep it protected so that's what I'm going to do today I'm not very good with acrylic paints so this is going to be interesting then my next question was what on earth am I going to paint on these boxes because it would be nice to have a picture that represents each group of colors so we have galaxy glacier, deep sea, forest and tundra. And it took me a while to come up with paintings for the reviews that I did. If you haven't checked those out, I have two videos. At the moment I'm going through a phase of just not knowing what to paint. I go through those occasionally. I find that sometimes I will have peaks where I've got so many ideas that I just can't paint them all. And then other times where I'm really struggling for even one idea. So what I thought I would do is actually go through my sketchbook and take the paintings that I did from the reviews and put them onto these boxes. Just to remind you which ones I painted, this is Galaxy, Glacier, Deep Sea, Forest and Tundra. Now I did paint two for Tundra but I'm going to choose this one which is my original painting for this. I've scanned all my pictures so I went through and cropped them to the exact size of this so I've resized the images as well and I have all five of them cropped so that they will fit into the spaces on the boxes. At least I hope they do because I have not yet measured them. Like a glove. I love it when my measurements are correct. <laughs> so, I mean, really, I could just stick these on, just glue them on and cover it with something, but nah, that's boring. I really want to paint them. It's voiceover Becky taking over. I swear I mucked around and talked for so long. I just have to make all of this sped up. So what I did here is transfer the pictures on using some willow charcoal on the back and then I drew over the picture very gently with a graphite pencil. This willow charcoal transfers drawings really easily and it's much better than other charcoals. You can see there's a vague line from it there and then I went over everything with a black colored pencil. The reason I did a colored pencil is because I'm going to paint over this with clear gesso and if you use graphite it really smudges. So I'm just brushing off the residual willow charcoal leaving the black colored pencil behind and now I can cover it with clear gesso. I use this art spectrum one because it's lovely and smooth just like any other gesso. I've found with other brands like this Liquitex one that the gesso dries into a horrible rough sandpapery texture and I just can't be dealing with that. And you can see I've started taping one. I just taped one at a time because I didn't like to leave the tape on for too long in case it peeled off some of the wood. And I'm using a very delicate surface scotch tape here. It's a washi tape that I got from the hardware store. Painting over everything with that clear gesso, you can just see how transparent it is and I really love this one. It is such a great one. I'll post it down on the link below in case you want to get some. Here are my big buckets of acrylic paints. I've sorted them into my nice ones on the left 
in a random assortment and I decided to mostly use the open acrylics which are slower drying and here's just my cheap ones which I ended up not using. So I picked a few colours out and off we go, finally! I swear this video took forever to make. So here I am starting off with Galaxy and I'm going in with some really bright magenta. This is not a slow drying one, this is just a different brand because I don't have a slow drying magenta. I really need to get one but it's a really expensive colour. So I'm mixing it in with some of the slow drying acrylics although they weren't great together so in some of the later boxes I ended up just using the slow drying open acrylics. I'm really liking them. It's the first time I properly used these acrylic paints and they work a lot like oil paints in that they take a solid day or so to really dry. So not as long as oil paints but you can actually have time to blend them and go over things and I just love them so much more than acrylics which dry almost at the drop of a hat. Especially when I had the heater on <laughs> and they were drying so quickly. This first one I struggled quite a bit with. I just really haven't used acrylic paints in a very long time and I was trying to retrain myself to use them as acrylic paints and not think of them as watercolours which is a totally different technique altogether. But I did have fun with this, I think the colours are incredibly bright and vibrant, far more so than my original paintings with the super granulating watercolours, but that's okay, it's meant to be just a visual representation, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. And my spaceship came out a bit wobbly, oops! That's Galaxy done. Now onto the second one, and this is Glacier. So I was painting the Franz Joseph Glacier in New Zealand. This one was much easier. It's a lot more of an abstract style painting, and I'd loosened up a little bit, so I found this one easier to do, and I was getting a lot more comfortable with the paints. The turquoise down the bottom, along with the green that I just squeezed out, are regular fast drying acrylic paints. I do not have any greens in the golden open ones but later on I ended up actually mixing some and I was actually able to get quite a few colours out of them. I'll show you that later. But in this one I just had a combination of the teals, greens, blues and a bit of burnt sienna in there as well. And the glacier ended up being really bright and vibrant, far more so than in real life but that's okay. I don't mind if it's a little bit stylistic. I wasn't trying too hard to make it very accurate, I was just basically mixing in all different colours and layering them up trying to get a bit of icy looking effect. And I think in this case the watercolour paints in the super granulating set worked a lot better for making a glacier than my attempts with acrylic paints, but never mind, I still quite like the colours and I do like how this one turned out. And in case you're wondering what that glass palette is that I'm using, it's something I found in a charity shop in the bric-a-brac section. It's just a random glass plate thing or it's the lid off something, I have no idea, but it works so well as a small palette for acrylic and oil paints and I think I paid a grand total of one dollar for it. <laughs>
happy with this one. It ended up being a lot more detailed than I expected. And on to the third box now, which is Deep Sea. This was by far the one that took me the longest to paint. It was so complicated and I used a very limited palette for this one as I was gaining more confidence mixing the golden open acrylics on their own, although that green is a fast drying one. But I made this really pretty purple. I've got a naphthol red and I mixed it in with the ultramarine blue and it came out in such a gorgeous violet colour, so I was mixing that in with the other greens and blues that I'd made as well. I really love how the background turned out in this one. This is my favourite background of all of them, I think. The colour palette is just so pleasing. But it was Poseidon that took ages to paint, mainly because I was trying to get his musculature correct and get a decent amount of value in the skin. I painted him purple in the end. My original painting, he's a lot more of a turquoise colour, but it just felt like he needed to be separate from that turquoise background, so I went in with my mixed in violet and added a lot of white to parts of it. So I am so happy with this one. I think this might be my favourite of all of them. So I'm really happy with how Poseidon turned out. It was pretty challenging to get a human form painted. And now onto a slightly easier one. This is Forest number four. And by this stage I was using only the golden open acrylics and just mixing them all. I managed to get quite a variety of greens just using the two blues that I have along with the yellow and the yellow ochre. The yellow ochre is really great for making a more muted green, which is excellent for a forest scene. I am painting in a river here, which is from a photo I took recently, because when I painted this originally, I wasn't super inspired by just painting trees on their own. I wanted to have something else in there. So it's one tree with kind of a foresty background and a foresty river. I like how this one came out. I actually prefer the acrylic painting to the original watercolour painting that I did. I think I was just able to get a lot more value and colour with the acrylic paints.
I really like how the tree trunk turned out in this painting and the leaves as well. So lucky last, it's Tundra. And I did start off with the bear, but I was getting a bit confused painting it white. So I actually ended up painting the background and then coming back to the bear. I used some pretty deep violet colors. Some of that violet is from the Poseidon one. As you can see, it's still completely wet. So this was hours later <laughs> and they're really great. So I used a lot of darker colors, but then I went in with white over the top to get some shadows and colors into the ice that the polar bear is standing on and in this painting I would say it's probably the most far removed from the original color wise because I did use quite a lot more bright pinks and reds in it and I got more of a sunset I was going to paint something like an aurora borealis but really I have no clue what they look like other than what I've seen in pictures so I think a sunset was a better choice but I just had a lot of fun mixing the colors on the wooden box and just coming up with different color combinations using my limited palette because I've got a red in there as well and that really helped make some other really pretty colors you can see here's my really bright sky and then on the left side I turned it into a sunset and tried to blend it together without making a hideous green color in the sky I was mostly successful hooray and of everything the polar bear was the most difficult thing to do I just couldn't get it as well as I got it in my watercolor painting which is super annoying but oh well <laughs> I got something in the end This one turned out super bright and colorful so I'm really happy about that and here they all are together now I had recorded so much at the end of this so I've just cut it all out and I've taken a photo of everything so you can see them I hope you enjoyed this video let me know which is your favorite and what you think of the paintings I'm really glad I did this I don't have any regrets thankfully and I just want to thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I will see you all again really soon in my next video swatch you later bye